Hey guys, it's Sean with River City Woodworks. Just a quick soft stop update. Um, again, I've got the three horsepower uh, professional cabinet saw with the 52 inch table. Um, works fantastic, love it. Um, I think I've had it for about, I don't know, six, seven months now. And um, so far, just, um, I mean, really no problems at all. Um, just really happy with the quality of the product. Um, I will say that when you purchase the saw, it comes with a 2.35 millimeter riving knife. If you, you know, if you want to use the riving knife, that's what it's coming with as part of, uh, you know, the equipment that's included with the purchase. And, um, so this is the riving knife that came with the saw and I've been using prior to, and as soon as I got the saw, I just swapped them over a thin kerf blade. This is just a Diablo blade. And, um, I was having problems with binding because of the thin kerf. This is smaller. The kerf of the blade is smaller than the kerf of this riving knife. And you can, you can see the marks on the riving knife there where it was binding, where it's discolored and sort of scraped. And, um, yeah, it just got to the point where it, was, it made, it made some, uh, some of the cuts pretty difficult. So I found that saw stop sells a two millimeter riving knife. And, um, I'm not sure if they sell them with this sort of black, uh, powder coat or, or whatever it is, uh, but this one just, just sort of a metallic color. And, um, so I, I swapped them out and, and so far it's been great. Um, all my binding problems are gone. And again, all you have to do to swap the rive to actually just remove the riving knife is you pull up on that handle right here. Um, that, and then you can just pop it out. So swapping them is easy, but you do need to make an adjustment to the alignment to make sure that the riving knife is aligned with the blade. And you do that through adjusting those bolts there. You can loosen those bolts and the riving knife will move side to side. You can also move it forward and aft as well a little bit. And I just use a straight edge, place it against the blade, and then just align that with this face of the riving knife and then once I've got it, I just tighten down one of the bolts a little bit to where it, it you know, put some friction on it. I check it again, make sure it's, um, <clears throat> I guess, plumb, uh, in line rather, and then I just finish tightening it. Um, swapping this riving knife with the original 2.35 millimeter riving knife and doing the adjustments took me about five minutes. And so, um, pretty simple. If you're, if you have a thin kerf blade, um, and you're getting binding, that might be your problem. And if you so, you know, easy. Just go on the Saw Stop website. Easy to find. I ordered mine. I think I got it in seven days. Um, so if you're having that problem, maybe this video help. If you already knew this, great. If not, even better. Um, but I just thought I would share that. If anybody has any questions, leave a comment in the below in the uh, comments below. And I would really appreciate if you guys gave a, a like and subscribe to the page. Thanks.